Evening, ladies and gentlemen, faculty members, panel of judges, mentors, fellow students, and all protocol of Z. I am Nicholas Sakarimensa presenting on behalf of Team Trust, and displayed on the screen are my group members. So today's question is to investigate the role of strategic leadership in fostering innovation and fostering a culture of continuous improvement within organization, using practical examples from leaders who have successfully promoted innovation and discussing the approaches. The running theme for today's presentation is strategic leadership, a catalyst for innovative thinking. This will be our outline of presentation. We shall start with introduction and end with conclusion, questions, and the recommendations. So to begin with our presentation, we are saying that strategic leadership involves the ability of leaders to apply their vision and managerial skills to implement strategy that drives organization. This can be achieved through setting goals, allocating resources, and making decisions that aligns with the institution's mission and objective. Innovation, on the other hand, is the practical implementation of ideas that results in the introduction of new goods or services or improvement of an existing goods or services onto the market. And all these are achieved through leaders who encourage innovation, strategic leaders create an environment that, I mean, encourage creativity, risk-taking and experimentation within the organization. They also provide support and incentive for employees to generate new ideas and solutions. Finally, on this topic, we are saying that leadership, leaders also cultivate a culture of continuous improvement by emphasizing learning, adaptation, and agility. We move on to discuss characteristics of innovation. And innovation, we start with saying that it is something that is action-oriented. When we say that something is action-oriented, we mean that it's something you practice or you do deliberately to achieve a result. And it also requires continuous experimentation and testing. Let me take an example like the automobile industry. Let's take a um, Toyota company. You can see that each year they come out with new models, upgrading their previous year's model. And this is a mark of continuous experimentation and testing. And also the changes I mean, entails a significant, I mean, change or modification over time. Once you are innovating, it means that you change the product. It shouldn't be static or the same product you are bringing to the market all the time. And also innovation brings about complete revolution or extension to an existing product. I've already said that, I mean, if you look at all the companies, they try to upgrade their products from the previous year to meet the customer satisfaction. Also, this change must be rolled out onto the market to achieve better results. After going through all your thinking, action, experimentation, you need to let the consumers have a feel of the product by pushing it onto the market. And that is where they can testify the usability and the acceptability of the product. Finally, innovation requires sustainability over time. And a typical example is the pharmaceutical industry where new drugs are produced, we do a post-market surveillance to make sure that is the drug still capable of treating the disease we said it is treating in the first place. So these, among many others that we can read in our book, are key characteristics of innovation. Now I move on to drivers of innovation. Of course, you can attest to the fact that these are the things we have been studying for the past nine weeks. So I'll touch on a few ones and then we can move on. So. Things that drive innovators like Elon Musk, who we will discuss in our case study later in the presentation, are openness to diversity, understanding of customs of the understanding of the customers and the market. You need these critical skills, and you need to create network and partnership for yourself to be able to promote your product. You must also understand the structure and the organizational leadership and also create an enabling environment for everyone to thrive in the institution and thereby produce a um, significant result. So these, among many others, are key drivers of innovation. And as I said earlier on, we shall use Elon Musk as a case study for our I mean, presentation today. I quote, failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. Elon Musk believed that the fact that you fail once is a mark that you have started something significant, which if you don't relax or be discouraged, you can achieve excellence in future. So these are the key characteristics that has made Elon Musk successful up to date. He has great vision. Of course, when we were young, or even up to now, we had the, the dream that we will live on Earth 
and then we will die and go to heaven. But Elon Musk's vision has changed our thinking by colonizing space. Now Elon Musk is building cities as in, on Mars. So it is out of a great vision like visionary leader like Elon Musk who will have this thinking and develop this strategy. He has also been able to develop aircraft that can take off and land vertically. And, and if you are in the military or the emergency, I mean, medicine department, you can understand the need for this intervention that will let out aircraft take off and then land at short distance distances without having long runways to operate. We also move on to key characteristic of you know, Elon Musk, that is his critical thinking. And his critical thinking is evident in his works like the reusable space rockets. In the past, when rocket visit space or moon, it is grounded and do a whole year of renovation work before it can move again. But Elon Musk thinking has developed reusable rocket that is able to visit the space multiple times without any delays. He has also developed Tesla vehicle, which are an electric vehicle that has come to reduce the effect of carbon pollution to the ozone layer, thereby improving the environment for all of us to drive. Elon Musk is also a key decision maker. And some of the things that elaborate his key decision making skills is the decision to do solar city and sustainable energy solution. We all understand the challenges that we have encountered with solar, um, with hydroelectric power and the nuclear power over the years. They are highly undependable, can be distorted with the, I mean, shortage of water or even fault in the dam. But Elon Musk's decision to build the sustainable energy and the solar city has eliminated this challenge and we're able to get a good power supply throughout all the time. We will move on to Elon Musk's creativity, and I'll love to hammer on this point. It is out of Elon Musk's creativity that he has developed Tesla homes. And I'm sure in the past, we all have the assertion that homes are something you cannot move from one place to the other. But Elon Musk has totally changed this thinking by developing Tesla homes that can be installed everywhere and move as and when we want it. He has also developed the neural link computer system, which enables human beings to interact with computers without any intermediaries. And this is a mark of a creative leader. Finally, on characteristics of Elon Musk, we would like to talk about his leadership qualities. Of course, nothing is more inspirational than coming to work in the morning and meeting your CEO at work. Elon Musk is a leader who has sold all his properties, including his many mansions and now sleeps at the factory. So when workers come to work, he is with them, he is a practical leader, he doesn't instruct, he gives in all his best, and this is a mark of Elon Musk's leadership qualities. We will also want to touch on some significant African innovators. Two of them that we found so fascinating is Dr. Christopher Nyan, who is a medical doctor and a biomedical engineering scientist who has developed what we call the multiplex diagnostic test, test kit, which is able to develop multiple diseases at the time, reducing our dependability on Western culture and improving I mean, diagnosis and treatment over time. We have also talked about Dr. Mahamud Baumia, who we popularly known as the digitalization man. He has brought about a whole lot of innovation, including the mobile money operability that is on the screen that has increased the financial inclusion in Ghana. And the Ghana card has, I mean, let electronic transition be, transaction be so smooth and successful in Ghana. So all these and many others we cannot mention here are factors that has made Dr. Mohamed Baumia and Dr. Nyan, successful innovators in Africa. We will not end our presentation on innovators without talking about the CEO of Google and then Microsoft. It is for their innovation and strategic thinking that we are here. They have developed so many tools that uh, improve academic, I mean, professional life and everything. So in concluding our presentation, what we are saying is that Innovation is something that is strategic, that requires deliberate efforts, and it has the potential of changing the way we do things and then improving our socioeconomic and then working relationship. Also, this uh, multi, multidisciplinary nature of this executive strategic program has changed our perspective of organizational issues and help us approach things in a more realistic manner. We would like to acknowledge the faculty members, Professor Jacob Abbey himself, a panel of judges, fellow students, and most importantly, our mentors for making this exercise. Thank you. That's the end of Team Trust presentation.